everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Super important topic. Uh, you know, I I just learned the FDA had approved a medication uh, for postpartum depression. I'm Dr. Parthenani. For those, those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, the uh, host of the Dr. Nandy Show and also the chief health editor of WXYZ ABC Detroit. And, and why am I talking about this? Because it's really important to me post to Postpartum depression is a, is the real deal. Super, super important topic, and I think that it's really important to understand why women who have postpartum depression often want to hurt themselves. Often, they want to hurt others, and they sometimes even want to hurt their baby. So, I think that it's really important to to, to do something about it. First, recognize that this is a real disease, real disorder that needs to be tackled. So, we're talking about postpartum depression, and moms who have this uh, often can suffer. And, and, and now, until now, there really hasn't been much in the, in the way of treatment. So what can happen? Number one, uh, with postpartum depression, you often are suffering alone. But a new drug approved by the FDA is, is really, I think, is going to be revolutionary. So what is this new drug? It's called Brexanolone. So B-R-E-X-N-O-L-O-N-E. And its actual main ingredient is a synthetic form of a hormone that's produced by progesterone in the brain. It affects something called the GABA neuroreceptor. So, uh, and, and why is that helpful? When you look at other treatments, extremely effective. When you compare it to other current treatments like counseling antidepressants, this this stuff, that other stuff can take weeks to work. Now, but brexanolone has been reported to work within 48 hours. So really, you know, game-changing because what happens is that others can take weeks. It may not be effective, but this is, is, is more effective than, than all of those. Now, people say, well, well, tell me a little bit about the drug. So it's, it's, it's really going to be available only through certified medical centers through a restricted program called a Zulreso REMS program. So it's really a, a kind of a, a niche program. It's going to be going to be available only in a, in a very um, monitored form. Why is that? Because the drug is actually going to be given IV. It's going to be administered intravenously, and it's going to be for 60 straight hours. So 60 straight hours of 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 a young lady getting this uh, medication, and so. Now, for two and a half days when you're getting this, you have to be monitored. Side effects can happen, and side effects can be serious. So number one, you can have sudden loss of consciousness and excessive sedation. That's why you got to really monitor uh, these folks. And number two, that you can, you can also make sure that they don't get excessively sedated. So you want to make sure that this is something that you're, you're, you're in safe hands and that you are not getting serious side effects that could affect your health. So what's the data? How effective is this really? Clinical studies, women who had moderate to severe postpartum depression, roughly 75% who received the brexanolone were reported to have a 50% improvement. So three quarters of people had at least 50% improvement when compared to women who were given a placebo, which is basically one that doesn't, you know, it's not supposed to do anything. About half were considered to be no longer clinically depressed. So super positive. Now, how do you know? Again, I started off the broadcast saying, how do you know if you are, if you do actually have postpartum depression? Now, it, it feels like the baby blues, but it lasts longer, runs deeper. Symptoms include extreme sadness, anxiety, crying excessively, also hopelessness, worthlessness, empty, you're feeling empty or alone. You have trouble taking care of yourself and the baby. You also can have the really thoughts of death or suicide, so serious and really important considerations. And sometimes you want to even hurt the baby. Uh, you, if you feel or experience any of the symptoms, reach out to your OBGYN, family doctor, healthcare professionals, because this is a serious problem. What I love about this is that now we're addressing the situation with an effective medication. And part of that is that we are now considering that what that this is a, a, a disorder that we have to that we have to treat and we have to really tackle, rather than just saying, oh, well, you know what, this is something you can deal with and, and kind of just get over. It's not really that. It's, it's a clinical condition that needs to be dealt with. So thank you all for joining us. Let me just take a look and answer some questions. If, uh, if we have Kathy from Windsor, Ontario, thank you so much. 
Michelle Wamel, thank you so much. Rhoda Takon, thank you so much. Good morning to Faye Takil. Tell us where you're from, by the way, when you when you do comment. Angela Bush says help support and kindness programs to take off financial stress of families. Progesterone supporting foods. There's no need for magic pills. Absolutely, and that's that's part of it, Angela. But the thing is, for those people who have severe illnesses, right? Severe illnesses. That's it's an important problem to 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 tackle, and you need to tackle it sometimes very quickly. Question I'm getting also on Instagram Live is that will this be covered by insurance? And and it's a great question, John. I think because it's twenty thousand, you know, approximately. 20,000 or more, it's going to be a big challenge. So I think I really invite insurance companies to really take a look and see how this affects lives and it can decrease hospitalization and decrease costs as well. Um, it's a great question. Virginia, um, Bofil, Jamias, blessed day indeed. Thank you for joining us. And Marjorie, uh, thank you for joining us. Marjorie Gumano, hello. And Kara Jackson, awesome. Appreciate it. Michael Kincannon, long time no here. How are you doing, Michael? Great stuff. Thank you for joining us. You know, again, we're talking about postpartum depression. FDA just approved a drug. Serious condition that can affect folks. Real disease, real problem. And, and the newly approved drug is called Brexanolone. Only given in a, in a monitored environment. IV drip for 60 hours, 6-0. It's very important to know that. That means two and a half days. Side effects can be sudden loss of consciousness, excessive sedation. You got to really watch um, the ladies who are having this, and so you got to really be monitored for safety reasons. Good results. About seventy-five percent of folks who had the treatment had a fifty percent improvement. So that's great. And compared to women who were given placebo, and half of them were no longer considered clinically depressed. So really, super important there. And 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 people, how do you know if you have postpartum depression? Right? People don't even know. You know when it feels like the the baby blues, but really it's 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 much more severe, lasts longer and deeper. If you're having trouble taking care of your baby, having extreme sadness, anxiety, excessive crying, feeling hopeless, worthless, really important to talk to your doctor right away. And if you're having feelings of suicide or or um, um, or death, call nine one one. So, hey, thanks so much, everybody, for joining me on this live. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have more questions, we will answer them. Uh, and, uh, and, and, of course, remember to make healthy living part of every day. I've got a couple questions here I'll answer before I get going. Uh, Evangelist Finch says, my daughter went through something after birth. I took care of baby until she got well. Really important problem. It's much more common than we think. And Audrey Wayne says, how do you know the difference in clinical depression and depression stemming from an illness? Very important, you know, depression stemming from an illness can be reactive, right? And, and depression, um, clinical depression can be deeper, lasts longer. Feelings of hopelessness. The stuff you normally want to do, you don't enjoy doing anymore. All those are very important questions. Again, remember, uh, if you have more questions, join, uh, give, give those questions to us. I'll do my best to answer them. So remember, make healthy living a part of every day. Thank you for joining us today. I'll talk to you very soon. Mm -hmm.